I think both the Mountain Music Trail and the Mountain Dance Trail have really um, highlighted what has been going on in West Virginia for a long time. So um, the Mountain Dance Trail is highlighting little communities that have square dances. Similarly, the Mountain Music Trail, you know, highlights these beautiful little towns on 219 that have thriving music traditions that the outside world just didn't necessarily know about before. Since 1973, musicians, artists, and students have been making the pilgrimage to Elkins, West Virginia to participate in week-long master classes at the Augusta Heritage Center on the Hilltop campus of Davis and Elkins College. Augusta, it was started to teach people the local crafts, and then they brought in a few music teachers to teach local music traditions, and then it has expanded over those 40 years to be, you know, five weeks of the summer each week has a different theme or several different themes and teachers come from all over the country and the world to teach here and then students come from all over. There were st several students here this summer from Australia and England. So people come from all over to teach and learn at Augusta. And the learning is, is based around traditional music and craft and dance but it kind of it pushes those boundaries too to be more eclectic and sort of teaching people how to improvise within the tradition as well. So I think it's pretty special and it's dedicated to the learning. I mean, it's a vacation in that you're in this beautiful place, but um, people come here to really like study their instruments and hear these beautiful concerts of old masters playing on this huge stage. And it's a special teaching and learning environment. One thing I found really neat about being at Augusta is that everybody here you know, is playing and we're all on the same level. It's very equalizing to come and be supported in this environment. But people have amazing lives outside of Augusta too. And just getting to know the people has been really wonderful. Um, the jams are a lot of fun. You can pick up um, with really seasoned, talented musicians that are just incredible. And you, you aspire to be that someday. You're welcome here. Everybody is. Jesse Mills. Jesse Milnes grew up in the world of West Virginia old-time music, learning from old-time fiddle masters like Melvin Wine, Ernie Carpenter, and his father, Jerry Milnes, who served as the folk arts coordinator with the Augusta Heritage Center for 25 years. I've always been around a lot of old-time music here in, in West Virginia at all the festivals and um, just known a ton of musicians, but it, I, coming to Augusta, I got to experience a lot of just other other kinds of music. I'm really proud to, to be part of this tradition. I'm always amazed at how uh, if I just get out, uh, sit out somewhere and play the fiddle, um, I'll strike up conversations and so many people around here have memories, have people in their family who played fiddle music or old time music. It really means a lot to me to um, have, just kind of be, be somebody who's representing that tradition now. For me, Augusta embodies really the community of music and sharing and learning and passing it on. It's all generations, so you have older people, you have kids who've been playing forever, you have kids who just started, you have adult beginners that have never touched an instrument before. That's amazing. And to watch people get it like that, it really creates a love in people's hearts that they didn't have maybe before. I'm the uh, fiddler in the Appalachian Ensemble, which is the whole reason I'm actually at Dini. Well, the mission of the ensemble is to, to share what makes this area so rich. And so a lot of the tunes that are used are from Pocahontas County and Randolph County and Kanawha County um, that the string band plays. But then we also have dance styles that came from here. They do flat footing and clogging. And like I said, we kind of want to introduce um, the general public to the sort of Amer American vernacular roots forms out there. One of the amazing things about Appalachian Ensemble is that you have students who are learning these traditional instruments, these traditional styles of dance, and they're making them relevant for audiences today. It's very refreshing because a lot of times with old time music there's this feeling that it's a form that comes from the past and it needs to remain in this particular way. And the Davis and Elkins Appalachian Ensemble takes that music and brings it into this time in a way that it gives it a new life. It breathes, it breathes a whole new life into it. There's such an amazing sense of community 
and you can walk into a small square dance anywhere on the trail and they might not know you and people will come over and introduce you and then pull you into the dance and you'll instantly be experiencing something really genuine to hear and I mean the music is just very contagious the dancing is the people are really great and it's a really incredibly beautiful area to spend time in.